Today we're going to do a simple eye set using a uh, Gene Smith W03 semi sneak form and be using the True Eyes available at headquarters supply, the, the, pre, the pre rotated ones, and I will, I'm going to show you how to install them. The, they are made a little different, so I'm going to explain to you how to use them. On a white tail eye, if you'll notice next time you skin one out, it, the it's shaped a little different on, on the front end it's more rounded and on the back end it comes more to a point so this is going to be the back of the eye and this is going to be the front of the eye Here, here's the uh, the other one that goes with this set if you'll notice that there's more white showing on this one at the front and more white showing on this one at the back Therefore, they're rotated, and if you'll notice, the, the 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 pupils are rotated also. This one's more towards the back. This one's more towards the front. Today, we're using a left hand, a left turn form. So this eye will be the left eye, and this eye will be the right eye. He'll be looking to his left when it's set. All right, we're gonna set this left eye and this mannequin. I always use with these with these true eyes. I use the white critter clay in the back. That way, it just it brightens up the white part of the eye more. Just makes it shine a little better. Just take your ball, put it in the back, kind of bring it up to a peak. You don't have to fill it all the way up because you want to make sure that you get a good seat all the way down and it's not stuck way out with clay behind it. You want the the clap the 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 eye itself to touch the form. So make sure you got your pupil turned right. This is the left eye. So we'll just push it into place, give it a good twist. Get your flashlight out and just make sure your pupils level with the floor. Front could be slightly raised just a little bit. Just kind of look down between the, the eye and the form and make sure it's, it's, it's all the way seated down in the, into the form because Gene has these sculpted. To, to fit these eyes pretty much dead on. So there's the eye in the side. Now with just regular critter clay, I'm just going to take a little ball. A lot of people make the mistake, this is natural color, of putting way too much clay on the eye. Makes it look like his eyes sunk in his head. Takes very little clay to sculpt the eye on a properly sculpted man. We'll start with the lower lid. It's going to go on on three parts. We're going to do the lower lid, the upper lid. Gene's already sculpted in the upper brow, and we're going to do the lower brow. We're going to take third part would be the lower brow tying the upper brow into the lid. We're just going to take this roll of clay, bring it around. This eye will not have any white showing in the back. It'll be showing in the front on the left side. Let's take this and work it in. Take another roll, roll it out fairly small, a little bit smaller than a pencil. Take a 
flatten it out. And then depending on the shape of your eye, I'm going to have this one about semi-alert. I'm going to start right here at the front. Don't bring it all the way down in front of the eye. Start up here at the top. And then just fade it back down into your lower lid. When you do this, you're going to have a little spot back here that's going to have a little area of clay, a gap here. Put your little bit of clay in there so when it goes to dry, you won't have a shrinkage and have a low spot here. Just a little bit just to fill in that gap. Nothing major. Take a modeling tool. Just get a little bit, put it in the front corner here. Make sure we get enough in there to fill it in to tuck your eye skin. I'm going to take one more row. This is going to be the lower brow. You flatten it out a little bit. You ain't got to flatten it out quite as much because you're going to kind of tie it all in together. Bring it on down just a little bit farther in front of the eye. Bring it across the top. And fade this back into the up into the upper brow. And then down into the upper lid. Here's a little bit low, so I'm going to just add a little piece just to make sure that brow is full right here in front of his eye. Once you got it close, where you want it, just take an artist brush, fairly, fairly stiff brush, as you can get it, and get it fairly damp. Just kind of come along and blend all this in. And start shaping it to your final shape. Make sure you get down here and where the caruncular lacrimalis is.
And once you get your shape pretty much the way you want it, and everything blended in good, take and clean the eyeball off. Get your brush clean as you can. Kind of just wipe some of this clay off. shape you out the first third of the, or the front third of the upper lid is you're going to be your highest point and then it's going to fade back into a point back here toward the back of the eye the back corner and then your lower lid will drop down a little bit in the back and that's pretty much the way I do my commercial eyes fairly simple And it looks good. I don't know if you can see the white on um, in the corner of the eye or not. I don't know if this light will help, but you can see where the white is on this. On your right eye, the white would be in the back when, when it gets set. That way, he's got a, a slight rotation in his eyes automatically without having to drill out the eye socket and go to a lot of trouble. Hope this helps, and uh, if you have any questions, you can find us at taxidermytalk.com.